What's going on, Jerome's? Your Minnesota Fighting Vikings were hoping that Alexander Madison uh, was going to rise up and uh, formerly Dalvin's backup would be the RB1 for the Vikings. Gave him a two-year contract and yeah, <laughs> hasn't worked out. All right, so uh, Madison, uh, again, I, I hope that Madison does well. Uh, I think that he's a good dude. I think he's a solid all-around running back, but it just hasn't been there uh, so far this season. Low yards were carried despite uh, a great offensive line. Uh, two key fumbles uh, in the games against the Eagles and the Broncos, both very winnable games, as well as five drops, including a crushing drop against the Chiefs. It's just... It just hasn't been there. And now now uh, I know a lot of Vikings fans are like, oh, we sure never got rid of Dalvin. Yeah, Dalvin's looking really good with the Jets, isn't he? Mm, mm, not, not saying, just saying. Uh, and the Vikings have looked to try and get a little bit more production out of the running game. First was Cam Akers coming over from the Rams, but then he popped his Achilles again. Uh, now it's a, a second-year running back Ty Chandler. And uh, fans and the media have openly wondered why hasn't Ty Chandler gotten more work since Madison – Madison just isn't getting it done uh, as a right meow, although he has improved as the season has gone along. And Wes Phillips of Vikings OC was point blank asked about it. Uh, this via uh, Kevin Seifert, who is not Carl Gershman. I think he's shown, Ty Chandler, that he's making plays and we're going to continue to try and get him touches. Uh, what that exactly looks like going forward, we'll keep talking about, but we're going to try and get him some touches and make sure that he's a part of it. Anybody that's going to go out there and make plays for us. And Ty Chandler, Certainly has done that. I, I mean, the, the fake punt was uh, absolutely gorgeous uh, against the Broncos. Uh, and you can tell, like, Kevin Collins was trying to get him involved. Uh, he was uh, the receiver on a double pass early on in the season. But just using him as a traditional meat potatoes running back, I mean, it makes sense, man. Uh, Madison is averaging 3.7 yards per carry. Hasn't even found the end zone yet, which is kind of impressive. Uh, Chandler, 4.8 yards per tote. And, yes, that is slightly warped by the fake punt. Uh, also, he's got the only Vikings rushing touchdown for a running back which is just great, great. Uh, as a receiver, uh, he's also more explosive out of the backfield. Uh, he's got two receiving touchdowns. Madison has three, respect. Uh, but also Madison, the two fumbles, and good, as well as five drops, uh, which is leading the league uh, in uh, drops. And it's just, it's just not good, man. It's not, not, not good right now. And Ty Chandler is more explosive as a runner. Uh, he's just as good, if not better, of a receiver and just as good as a pass protector as well. So, uh, again, that's why uh, people are asking why the pride of North Carolina, come on and raise up, uh, isn't seeing more touches. And uh, I do think that Ty Chandler does bring some uh, unique explosiveness to the Vikings running game. And I like that he's uh, getting, in work, uh, getting worked in more and more. And uh, I do think that Ty Chandler could be the answer for why – uh, the answer to the Vikings running woes. And it, it doesn't mean that it just has to be purely Ty Chandler. Like, I think that Madison st still can serve a role, uh, but should he serve more of a role at, like he did with Dalvin as a uh, running back two uh, versus being a running back one? Or is this going to be a, a RB 1A, 1B sort of situation? Uh, but I, I can't explain the level of frustration that the fans feel uh, where it seems like every single drive first and 10 starts off with a Madison a run for no gain where he's contacted in the backfield, which again, isn't his fault or he runs into his uh, lineman, which, you know, is partially on him. And it's just, it's just frustrating. It's like, you may as well start every single drive second and 10. Uh, but Madison, uh, Madison still has some purpose. And I think that he can still serve, uh, serve a use. Uh, but Ty Chandler, Ty, Ty Chandler just gives this offense another dimension, and I'm glad that the media is starting to ask Wes Phillips about it, and I think that the coaching staff realize it as well. But your thoughts are thoughts. Ty Chandler, can he take over as RB1 this season from Alexander Madison? Uh, let us know your thoughts and our thoughts in the comment section below. Subscribe for Daily Vikings takes. Want to support the work? Put a little something in the Venmo, but to next time, Skull Production Value.